Welcome back everybody to Sora Stumbler One's channel and this is No Man's Sky. We just had a storm start and that big old worm dude is going off into the distance. So if you've been following my permadeath videos, you would realize that I have been setting up farms everywhere. Today I'm going to show you why. We're going to head back to my base and we're, I'll collect some minerals and things like that. And we'll start making the most expensive items in the game. Expensive items for selling, that is, apart from like freighters and stuff. You can buy freighters that are more expensive than these items, but these items will help you purchase the same. So let's go back to base and I'll see you once I've collected all the materials I need. Alright, so I'm back at base now. I've collected all the minerals and things that I need to do this with uh, so the first step on this is to get the recipe unlocked so the recipe can actually be found in the anomaly these days you don't have to actually unlock it through secure facilities these days you can just unlock the recipe at the anomaly so you want the fusion igniter and the stasis device as recipes. I'll show you where you can unlock them at the anomaly. Okay, so once you reach the anomaly, you want to go up to where the terminals are to get your upgrades and unlock things for your base. And you want to go to the right hand side over here and this thing here will allow you to learn the new product recipes. Now I have them all unlocked but these just take nanites to unlock and these are the two that you'll need. You'll also need all the other ones that are here, every single one of them, all of these, everything here. Um, just so that you could get the fusion igniter and the stasis device. So that's what you need to do as the first step. Alright, see you when we get back to the base. Now that you have the recipes unlocked, it's time to actually start working on what you're building. So, take a look at the item that you're trying to build and work backwards. So this says it needs cryogenic chambers and quantum processors. So you find the quantum processor and it needs circuit boards and superconductors. So you find the circuit board says it needs heat capacitor and polyfibers and then you've got polyfibers and heat capacitors so the heat capacitors will require frost crystals and selenium grab some of those here i would like to point out that if you do not have any frost crystals available to you you can actually produce frost crystals by chucking oxygen and dioxide into your large refiner and we'll just make a couple of frost crystals and once you have a couple of frost crystals you can use frost crystals and dioxide to make more frost crystals so that's a way of getting frost crystals if you don't have enough of them this goes for any plant oxygen and the mineral that you usually get on that planet and you can make plants like that so so we've got our selenium we've got our frost crystals now we've got heat capacitor so that's it just make a heat capacitor and i'll just make a few of them make like five the next thing was circuit boards, polyfiber. So we need polyfiber. That's cactus flesh and star bulb. So let's grab some cactus flesh and star bulbs. All right, cactus flesh and star bulbs. Grab some polyfiber. All right, we've got four of them. And that will allow us to make our circuit boards. Right, so we've got four circuit boards. The next thing on the list is the superconductors. So we need semiconductors for this. The thermic condensate is sulfurene. 
This is why you need the farm set up. All your gases. We have the sulfurine. Let me condensate. Alright. So, we have just reached our first hurdle. We have run out of condensed carbon. So chuck condensed carbon, if you have any left, into the thing and chuck some oxygen in with it and that'll make it at a 1 to 6 ratio. If you don't know how to make condensed carbon out of oxygen, I'll just show you real quick. So you make oxygen, a few carbons, chuck the carbon in there with the oxygen. That'll make you condensed carbon. Then you can chuck your condensed carbon in and that will make it a 1 to 6 ratio, so it makes it quite quickly. Alright, we have our nitrogen salt, we have our thermic condensate. Uh, we need two more semiconductors. So we've got four circuit boards, we need four semiconductors. So we've got quantum processor requires a superconductor. Superconductor requires enriched carbon, so just leave that carbon producing in the background. We need radon for the carbon. Okay, so we've just picked up some radon, enriched carbon, two, three, four. Done. So we've got the enriched carbon, we've got the semiconductors, we make our superconductors. There we go. And that will allow us to make our quantum processes. So that's one component out of three that we need for the stasis device. The next thing is the cryogenic chamber, which is living glass and cryo pump. So living glass requires glass, which you can make out of frost crystals. And you need five living glass and uh, you need five glass and you need one lubricant. The lubricant is gamma root and fecium. Now if you don't have fecium, I suggest you set up a farm for it. But there are other ways of making fecium, which I will show you shortly. Okay, so dihydrogen and condensed carbon will turn into mordite. Now why is that significant? Well, at the moment we need fecium. So... I do have some in my storage, but I just wanted to show you that this is a way that you can get fecium. So once you're done making some mordite, and chuck it in there, it converts to fecium. The other thing that you can do with this is chuck in some condensed carbon with the mordite, and it will convert it at a 1 to 4 ratio into fecium. So that's a way of getting fecium if you don't have any. Okay, so I just looked through my base and I couldn't find any gamma root so I'll just show you that you can make gamma root with uranium and oxygen and we're just gonna make some gamma root really quickly and then we'll drop the gamma root in there and chuck uranium in there and it will make more gamma root so you can set this up to go on multiple refiners at the same time and that way you can produce the gamma root that you need. We need uh, 1600 of it to produce these four quantum processes. Oh hang on no, living glass. So we need 1600 to produce the living glass that we need because of the lubricant. We've already got the fecium just need 1600 gamma root. So we got that one going. So we got some gamma root. We're going to make our lubricant. Alright, now we've got our four lubricants. We need more glass, which means we need more frost crystals. Alright, we should have enough to make the glass now. Yep, 20 glass. <coughs> make some living glass okay so the other thing we need for the cryogenic chamber is the cryo pump which is hot ice and thermic condensate so we can make our thermic condensate we need hot ice which is nitrogen salt and enriched carbon 
Okay. So we've got our nitrogen salt and our enriched carbon. We want to make hot ice. Three, four. And then we should be able to make our cryo pumps. Two, three, four. And that will allow us to make our cryogenic chamber. Two, three, four. Right, so we've got the quantum processor, we've got the cryogenic chamber. The last thing that we need is the iridocyte, which I seem to have some in my cargo somewhere. But if you don't have, know how to make iridocyte, you've got to make these three, Aronium, Magno, Gold and Grantine. But I actually have the iridocyte, so I'm just going to make all four of these. And there you have it, 62.4 million for four stasis devices. So it's basically the same sort of method. If you want to make the other ones, what are they called? Fusion igniters. But it's basically the same method for both of those. You just gotta have the materials to do it with. And I hope that this video has been enlightening to you all. If you enjoyed this, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.